Are you guys ready to make some spooky decor for your home? Well, we have the perfect craft for you. How about some spectacular wine bottles? Since you guys have many spare wine bottles, this is the perfect idea for your home. Are you ready to learn how to make them? Then let's get started. Okay, so for the first craft we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be creating a jack-o'-lantern wine bottle. So the first step would be finding some painter's tape if you have at your home and using that painter's tape to wrap the wine bottle. The purpose of wrapping it with the painter's tape is because we're going to draw a design on it and if we have the painter's tape, we can paint all around it. So if you have the skinny painter's tape like I did, just make sure you do several rotations so you'll have enough space to create a design you like. For the designs, you can go online, um, see if you get any inspiration, see what works for you. I found some I liked and then I decided um, to freehand it. So I'm using a Sharpie, you can use a pen or whatever works best for you that you find in your home. After designing it, the next step would be finding a sharp tool like this and with that you're going to want to cut out the template. Once it's all cut out, you'll be able to remove the painter's tape and the design should stick onto the wine bottle. Make sure to carefully remove it because the template might come off a bit so make sure to hold those pieces. After that, the next step would be painting the wine bottle. I'm doing orange because I want my jack-o'-lantern wine bottle to be orange, but you can do a different colored pumpkin design that you like, or just depending on whatever paints you have in your house. This type of paint can be found at Walmart. It's inexpensive and it works pretty well. Because it is a wine bottle, this type of paint that I'm using, the acrylic paint, it will take several coats for it to stick. So just once each piece that you paint dries, you're going to want to apply another coat. After a couple coats, you should have something that looks like this. And once you've finished painting, you can begin to rip off that painter's tape and it'll still have the design of the jack-o'-lantern face you created. Just be careful when you remove it. have something that looks sort of like this, a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so for our next wine bottle, we're going to be creating a mummy wine bottle. So I'm using a material similar to burlap. I found this in our library. Maybe you have a material similar to that in your home. And I just cut it into several strips. And with those strips, I'm going to use it to wrap around and create a mummy-like wine bottle. I'm attaching mine using glue dots. You don't necessarily have to use glue dots, that's just what I had with me. You can use glue, you can use glue sticks, or I recommend you make 
might even be able to use a hot glue gun. So remember, you can wrap it different ways. I recommend going kind of crazy. Don't do the same exact pattern. It looks better if you're trying wrapping it in different directions. And when you're wrapping, make sure to leave a space open so you can create a face. Uh, as you can see, I decided to add black construction paper in the open space because I feel like that would pop more than if I just left the green of the bottle. So if you have black construction paper, go ahead and fill that in. And the next, you can either draw eyes. I had some spare googly eyes and I attached that and created a mummy. Okay, so for the final Halloween wine bottle, what we're going to do is create a Frankenstein wine bottle. So, as you can see here, I'm using black construction paper, and I'm going to use this paper to create his hair. So his hair is pretty simple, just draw some triangles up and down with the flat top. And then once you have that, you can cut it out. And it should look like that. The next thing you want to do is create the eyes. I recommend with all your cutting and craft to layer it so you have an idea of how his face will look so you want everything to be the correct size. So I'm going to add each design underneath the hair so I know that I'm not creating anything too big or too small. His eyes are pretty much semi-circles, so just create that shape and it'll turn out fine. Next, I'm going to use a gray paper to represent the, the bolts on the side of his head. So if you have gray paper, this will also come in handy and it adds a different color to your Frankenstein wine bottle. And the shape for the bolts is pretty simple. Um, you'll be able to see it. It's just a rectangular shape, almost a half cross. And I use black paper again to draw a smile. Um, just do that however you see fit. And finally, I'm using red paper to create the stitches that go across his forehead. And that's kind of a straight line with adding some rectangle pieces that overhang on the top on the bottom. You could go ahead and Google templates like that or just freestyle it. And I decided I didn't want to use googly eyes for this one. I'm going to use a black marker and just fill in the pupils. And then once I have everything designed and cut out, you can use a glue stick and just put some glue on these designs and you'll be able to attach it to your wine bottle and see how it comes out. That's the stitching, so I'm doing the hair and then the stitches across his forehead. I'm gonna attach his eyes. And then his smile or grin, whatever, it depends on the shape you create. And finally, we're going to attach the bolts to the side of his head. And 
there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed.